Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It's the first week of December and I wanted to give you an update on my lemony lace elderberry shrub. Colorado's weather is really finicky. We have a lot of these temperatures that create thaw, freezing, thaw, freezing type um, issues for our soil. We have had temperatures uh, as low as nine degrees uh, since fall, and now we are experiencing temperatures in the upper 60s, uh, the latter part of uh, Thanksgiving, and even into the early part of December, where we are averaging temperatures above averaging above average temperatures in the 60s. Today is going to be 65, maybe even 70. The problem with that is tomorrow we're gonna have snow and it's gonna be 32 degrees. And now the roots are going to um, get tricked into thinking, oh, it's not spring, it's still winter. So what I've done with my elderberry shrub to ensure that it succeeds and thrives during the first winter season it's going through is making sure that it's getting water during the dry spell. We have had an incredible a dry spell for almost a month since we've had snow. So I have already watered this. However, when I've learned that the temperatures was gonna get into single digits back in October, I went on ahead and added a layer, about two layers of wood chips around the base. So if you see, if I, well, see the ground, but if you see, if you go further down, you see how much wood chips there is? See, that's just how much insulation my um, elderberry shrub roots are getting. One thing I've learned in using wood chips, and this is one of the benefits I have learned in, wooding, in using wood chips, wood chips is a great insulator, especially in the summer when you want to keep the temperatures, you, excuse me, you want to keep the soil cool and keep the soil moist. But in the winter, believe it or not, it insulates against cold. And I am amazed at what some of my plants that are still green right now today as a result of the roots being insulated. So I'm gonna take that same concept and apply it to my lemon lace elderberry shrub. Because we're going through this thawing and freezing issue, I don't want my elderberry shrubs to be affected by it. So I made sure that I gave it a good watering right before tomorrow, which we're gonna get down at 32 or below. We're gonna have snow for the next two days. We're gonna be in our uh, average temperature, but the, temp but the nighttime temperatures will get into the 20s and maybe the teens. So with that said, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer of wood chips. And keep this in mind, these wood chips are aged. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add more wood chips. So now I have about six inches of wood chips around this elderberry shrub. And although it's been experiencing great temperature for the last month, it's gonna go into the freeze state now. And so now, with this added layer of wood chips, I have now created more insulation around the roots of this elderberry shrub because now it's thinking, you know, we're entering the spring because we're in the 60s, but now it's going to get shocked into a cold temperature the very next day, which at times will put your plants in shock, create your roots to die. So to try to prevent that for a young elderberry shrub that's not even a year old. It did very well during the summer months. If you look at my previous video, you'll see that it uh, grew a foot. But now I've got to make sure that it survives the first winter, especially with these extreme temperatures from 60s to the teens, thawing and freezing. 
issues that affect the soil as well as the roots. So just wanted to give you an update on how my elderberry shrub is looking during the winter months. It um, seems to be doing really good. It still has a really nice color here. I do want to keep all the dye back on the shrub because when it starts budding in the spring, it creates an insulation. So with that said, it's really critical. Let me just show you some other parts of my perennial bed where wood chips are actually insulating. So I'm going to move on my other bed. Can you see where I still have snow in the bed? And look at the greenery on this perennial. Look at my carnation. And I still got snow in the bed. Here's another carnation. Look. The perennials are actually still green. This is the beauty of wood chips. Let's move down the bed a little more. And as you can see, look at this. Look at that. So this is a perennial bed, combination annual perennial bed. I just want to kind of give you an idea of the beauty of wood chips and how well it insulates in the winter. And when you have situations like our temperatures where we have above temperatures, then we get a deep freeze the next day. The wood chips are literally insulating the soil. So here, my perennials are still green. I've had temperatures as low as nine degrees teens, and I still have snow on the bed, and my perennials are green. This is zone 5B. Here's my other raised bed where there's an example of how the wood chips are insulating real well. These are my daisy flowers, and look at this, literally green. And if we move down the bed, my pincushion flowers are still green. Look at my roses, my rose bed. The leaves are still green and fresh. They're not even frozen. I've got other perennials behind the uh, bed. And every year I add a new layer of wood chips. I want to show you something that I think is quite spectacular. And this is my first time doing this. I was amazed to see my onions are still alive during the winter months. Now, I did add a couple of layers of wood chips. As you can see, I got a lot of wood chips here. And this was when, again, the temperatures had got down to nine degrees single digits in October. And I wasn't sure exactly um, how well it would fare. And as you can see, it is now the first week of December and onions are sustaining. They have not, they, they, they've gone through a freeze and thaw uh, over the last uh, three months since October with the warming and the freezing. And yet you can see the onions are still green. They're still doing well. And as the wood chips break down, especially during the temperatures when it's warm and I get a lot of sun exposure in this bed, I probably would go ahead and add another layer of aged wood chips and I want to specify age because when you're using fresh wood chips, it can pull nitrogen out of the soil. But I keep a stockpile of wood chips, therefore um, allowing my wood chips to break down. So here we have another example of how wood chips are totally insulating the soil, literally, where I am growing onions in zone 5B during the first week of December. So if anyone does have not been able to realize the benefits of wood chips during the winter season, I just wanted to bring this um, perspective to your attention and help you understand that wood chips have many, many, many benefits. And for those northern gardeners like myself, one of the benefits is total insulation of your soil during the winter months to keep your plants healthy and green in the middle of December, zone 5B. And yeah, I'm excited because this is so cool. So I just wanted to share that with you. Again, because this is a new shrub, it's not even a year old, I wanna make sure that I have it deeply insulated. So therefore, I've got six inches of wood chips around it and I'm gonna keep monitoring it and making sure that I water it during the dry spell and just keep an eye on it so I can ensure that I have my elderberry alive for the next uh, growing season. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.